sure I'm hanging in there now. <laughs> Ken's I saw, there. I saw you on the Today Show. You saw me on the Today Show. Are you sure it was me? Yeah. <laughs> Did I look human? <laughs> I shouldn't though. I was up at 5.15 and we didn't sing until 10.45. There you go. Kathleen Hoda run a tight ship. Don't mess with the system. <laughs> Seamus had well, he forgot to tell us he had to be there for 3 30, so uh -huh. he had to oversee the, the studio sound check and the building has to be clear by 6 a.m. before they actually start the show. So it was good fun. We um we met a load of people. Obviously there's a lot of paddies around, a lot of Irish. There was a there was a chef called Donald Skeehan who was there, River Dance were there. Um that was fun chat to them and I was showing them a few of my moves just in case they wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> right. Actually, it was really funny was then um, we were sort of we hadn't had a whole lot of time to rehearse the song because everyone was coming in from everywhere and um, a few days previous. So Seamus had us out in the lobby <coughs> rehearsing the song, just getting everything tightened up. And just even the, the few little steps, you know. Like Riverdance were after going out on the street and doing the amazing rendition or the raising thing that they do. So like as they're walking back into the studio, like the five Celtic Thunder simpletons are <laughs> standing there like this. <laughs> so uh, if I ever felt insignificant, that was one of those moments. But uh, it was good fun. It was good fun. New York was fun as always. And um, well, you're very welcome. This is it's great to be back in Sawicki again. Um, we only got to walk up the town there, so it's a beautiful place. We should be more time. We didn't even have time to catch the fish and eat it. <laughs> um, the, the fishing rods weren't working. Um, but yeah, so meet and greet is pretty, pretty. I'm sure a lot of you've experienced them before. Put up your hand, ask me a question, um, ask me anything you want, really. Um, anything controversial? Seamus has my lawyer's number, and you can call me <laughs> after the show. So there you go. So shoot. Oh, yeah. Um, we were actually talking about it. Are you going to be doing any of your own songs? Any of my own songs? Like you write? Do I write? Um, writing isn't something I've done a whole lot of, but it's something I would love to do more of. Um, so to that end, I don't think I'll get one written before eight. <laughs> I, I would love to at some point. I would love to get, do some writing at some point. And, um, you know, Seamus is quite talented himself. He's been involved in writing bits and bobs over the years, but we might have to do a bit of writing at some point, will we? Absolutely. Yeah. We that. Yeah. We might write a song called the Slippery Tuna. <laughs> <laughs> slippery Tuna we never got. <laughs> that famous night in Sir when they all fell apart. <laughs> I just want to say, we didn't get the fish, but Seamus did have a couple of beers, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, we must give a big shout out. Uh, we came from Ireland, and that's a bit of a distance. But then again, it's nothing compared to coming from Hawaii. <laughs> Come on, Thank I came all the way from Hawaii. Love it. Um, as you can probably tell, there actually is no need for me to be here this evening because Seamus can just do his one man show. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's just see how this evening goes, eh? So, um. Yeah. So, sorry being on the Today Show, did you get anything special on St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day was pretty busy because um, we did the Today Show and then we did some other TV stuff. And, but I did get to see a bit of the parade. We were in, uh, if any of you were on my Facebook page, I put up a wee video. Um, we were up look, looking right down the 5th, which was fantastic, because I've never really seen the parade before. So we did that. Um, I went to bed for a couple of hours, because I was exhausted. And then I get up, and I went to the bar, and then it was the next day. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, it was, it was good fun. I didn't go too crazy um, because I fight with Boston, Connecticut, Cleveland, then tonight, and then Buffalo. So, did you, uh, you guys all know what Paddy said? It's, it's crazy how big it is here. Like, I've only realized in the last few years from being here, 
it's mental how big Paddy Say is. Like at home, it's, it's big in Dublin, but a lot of times you're just like, oh, Paddy Say, why is it here? <laughs> but here it's Paddy Say, yeah. Right. So I've heard. I would love to come to the Pittsburgh parade, absolutely. I'm great at standing on a float. And <laughs> just, just, you know, one of those beer hats with the Guinness on it. <laughs> All good. So I've heard that, yeah. Pittsburgh's obviously a huge Irish community here. And uh, you like your Irish music, so we might sing a few Irish songs for you. Nice. We'll see. Pittsburgh has the second largest St. Patrick's Day parade outside of New York. Outside of New York. And it's big in Chicago. We did the parade in Chicago a few years ago. They died the River Green. Um, Savannah, Georgia is going to be huge exactly. as well. So it's crazy. You do hand up, sir. How are you? Uh, when I visited McDonald's, one of the things I noticed is that uh, every Irishman likes their beer from Guinness. They do. Uh, have you ever taken uh, Guinness? I, that's, that's a loaded question, if I ever know. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I, when I have a choice, I actually, I wouldn't go for Guinness that often because if, if you know your Guinness, you know, generally it's, it's about how well the pour, the pour of the, of, of the beer, of the stout. So sometimes you walk into a bar and if it's not regularly poured and, and it's not regularly changed, it can actually taste awful. Yeah. But if you get a good pint of Guinness, there's nothing like it. So one of the first times I actually ever had one was when I went to the Guinness factory. So I kind of started there. So it's kind of hard to match it. Um, where did I get a good one recently? Why are we having a really good pint of Guinness? Was it, was it Nolan's? Nolan's and Nolan's Cocoa Beach was good. Yeah. Uh, I had one in Galway recently. It was actually it was in a hotel bar and I was very surprised. So it can be very much hit and miss with the old Guinness. Um, but yeah, if you get a good pint of it, it's lovely. And for those of you under 21, um, just disregard everything I said. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah the Guinness is nice. Oh, yeah. What is your favorite place you've been to? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Um, it, like with, with touring and stuff like that, like playing shows or just holidays? Or well, like just experiencing. Experiencing. Um, well, I mean, touring, like the last four years has been pretty nonstop and we've been to a lot of places and sometimes people say, oh, you've been everywhere, like you've been in every state in America, bar Alaska and Hawaii, but we will sort that out later, my friend. <laughs> um, and it's great to see so many different places, like touring Australia, this is going to be my fourth time touring it, but I couldn't tell you a whole lot about it, because we see hotels, venues, buses, we're there for a day. Um, you know, a lot of cities I've been to, I haven't been, I've been there maybe five times, but for now, for no longer than 12 hours. So that's just the nature of touring and stuff like that. So sometimes it's hard to actually get a grasp of the place. We try and like, if there was something cool that you had to do, you might just get that done, you know, before sound check. <coughs> but unfortunately, you don't get to enjoy it as much as you'd like to. Um, the last time I was in Pittsburgh, we did the, um, yes. we did the, the run. What was it? The, the 6.4K yeah. run. Mario yeah. What was that called? Like Mario Lemieux. Um, 6.6K. 6.6K. Yeah. What's, what's the name of the run again? And, and it was a hockey bread. That was it. Yeah. Yes, the payments, yeah. So we, we, we did that. And Seamus actually, a few of us did it. I organized it. You organized it. <laughs> no, Seamus, oh, you organized the whole race. Yeah. You're crazy. I, I organized for the gang to do it. And that was when I used to be somewhere around about 12 stone. <laughs> Things have just improved somewhat in the, in, in, in the passing of time. But that's, I got them all out, and he wasn't, well, he beat me by the way, no. anyway, but, uh, uh, Ryan but, Moore, I think. Yeah, Ryan is the, uh, is the runner among us. Mm. Uh, but we all, I got the whole lot of them out of the bed on Sunday morning, and they didn't <coughs> the night before, so it was pretty, a pretty good achievement. Of all James's accomplishments, when he looks back in his career, that will be the top <laughs> five. <laughs> uh, I got the band in kind of thunder, and, well, Keith didn't get out of bed, and, but the rest of them did. just like exercise, but the rest no, of the rest of it, yeah, Neil, yeah, all the rest of it. It was good fun. Uh, and we got on telly then as well, locally. Yeah. So that was fun. That was a beautiful way to see the city, actually. Because right. it was very early in the morning. Obviously, a lot of the streets were shut off, and uh, we ran over the bridge. It was gorgeous. And there was a, a baseball game on that 
afternoon yes. so that everybody was uh, tailgating. So it was great for yeah. yeah. I ate six chickens. <laughs> <laughs> and you were playing with the belly? No, I don't know. <laughs> so there you go. I don't know if that answered your question. Sometimes they say, there's a long answer to a very short question. <laughs> so there you go. Catch Thunder actually on tour is like Groundhog Day. <laughs> yes. It really is. It's like, uh -huh. it, it gets, it, it's run with military precision. I'll stop talking in a minute. Just give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> so then, every day it's like 9 o'clock you do this, 10 o'clock you do that, um, 2 o'clock you do that. 3 o'clock you don't do that. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's just like that, it's, and it's, it's very much to the clock. Like you, you, uh, we have a guy called Mark Jones, who's our production manager, and uh, he, when he says 9 o'clock, it's not one minute past nine. It's nine o'clock. So, and that's the way it's run. So, I'll just shut now. Could you need your hand up down the back there. Uh, our family is planning a trip to Dublin right now. So, what would you say is like the one or two things that we should not miss? How long are you going to be in Dublin? <coughs> ten days. Well, I'd say if you're going to Ireland for ten days, don't spend ten days in Dublin. You got to get out of the city. It's maybe two to three days max in Dublin. You get a lot of things in. Um, if you want to do the typical the Guinness factory, Jameson factory, uh, Glass Nevin Cemetery. Yeah, a very interesting. Um, and it wouldn't be a typical place that people would No, Glass Nevin Cemetery this year, 19, 1916 centenary. Huge amount of history there. There's a lot going on. Are you going this year? Yeah. Well, there's a lot going on. If you look up um, anything that's happened with 2016, with the centenary of the 1916 rising, it's a great year to go to Dublin, actually. You'd have all there's loads going on. Yeah. In um, Storehouse, come in jail. Uh, in jail. Uh, Last Island Cemetery. Uh, Jemison, if you want to do another alcohol place, but it's just, it's uh, kind of an experience thing. Uh, what else? Phoenix Park is beautiful, actually. Phoenix Park, just go for, go for a walk. Or if you want to go like somewhere along the seaside, somewhere like Dunleary, it's beautiful. Um, and then if you get out of Dublin, and you, you, you get, get down to Glen Lock, which is in Wicklow, um, absolutely stunning place to visit and, and if you're into walking and hiking and stuff like that, that's definitely worth the day. Depends how far afield you want to go, but Discover Car Island is, yeah. Ireland is, is the place to go to look at. Are you in the car or are you trying to stay local? You're not hardly car, no? Okay, well then, you, you're, you're, this new Grange, which is the old Megalithic tomb, which is close to where I live, actually, Monster Boys Cross, there's a whole heap of stuff that's, Glendalough, they, they're all possible and doable. Uh, uh, the new grade you will have to book it. It's uh, during the summer because it's very, very popular. You go in. It's during the winter, winter solstice and the summer solstice. The sun comes through the tomb, and it's really quite an amazing place. Yeah, it really. Is. If you get in a bus, you can get a bus directly to Galway. Down there for a couple of nights. Uh, it's beautiful as well. Cork if you can, but you have ten days. You have loads to do. But get out of Dublin. Dublin's great for a couple of days, but. Get out into the country. Those country folk are much more fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Don't want to where I live, though. It's no fun. It's, not. it's a nice little town. So, good question. Hiya. Uh, we had the pleasure of seeing you in Peachtree City, Georgia last May. Wow. Are you from there? Yeah, I'm from here, but we drive down. You there. went down to Peachtree? We went down to Peachtree for that. Brilliant. Yeah. There's another one this May. I was just wondering if we will have the pleasure of seeing you there in May again. If it's in May, um, definitely not. Fred's a nice place. Um, <coughs> my first time at Peachtree. I got there and uh, I, I rented a golf buggy for three days. So, um, yeah. A few, few speeding tickets. Um, <laughs> good fun. I was pegging around. No, it was great to just do my own thing, pegging it around the city. The, the, the little, it's not so much a city, it's a collection of. I, I just do a bit of a translation of Mullingar ease there. Pegging it around the city means driving at a rather high speed. In the <laughs> Sorry, pegging, yeah. It's Irish uh, phrase for legging it, pegging it. Whatever. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we, we, uh, speaking about pegging around, we were down doing a festival in St. Augustine and we got introduced to segways. We like segways. <laughs> it was late. We'd had about a glass of wine or so. We were around the, we were around the site. Oh, we did a festival down there, and we came back to the site that night to say goodbye to everybody before we were going the following morning. And we got they gave us two segways to go and explore. 
Did I try a segue? No. Oh man, great fun. <coughs> you can't get a DOI in a segue, can you? Because <laughs> we didn't get one. Yeah, it was just round the field. It was good crack, actually. Because the hoverboards look pretty dangerous. Segway's a little bit safer. You have, do you have a hoverboard? She does. Do you? Yeah. Is it hard to keep you out of balance? And, okay, honestly, how many times have you fallen off it? Never. You was, you're, you're, you're very talented then, because I would, I would severely injure myself and people within 50 feet of me. <laughs> you're, okay, so, so mom approves. Is that fun, are they? Just don't lean back. Just don't lean back. <laughs> don't lean back. I remember that. Are you going to the Ohio um, Health Fest this year? The East Lake or the yeah. East Lake, the one we did last year? <laughs> Unfortunately not because... The Willis family, the um, 12... The Willis clan, an incredible family. Aren't they? Amazing, talented kids. Busy um, parents. Yes! <laughs> You had to just lower the tone. No, no, no. Is it busy parents? Yes. Because they're busy with the, I, I, the laughs from particular parts of the room indicate the sense of sort of minds you were dealing with. That's all we have. Their TV was broken for quite a while. Say again? Their TV was broken. Yes, and it was cold. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hate you now. An amazingly talented bunch of kids, though. They're just incredible. I just want to join the family and family like even, the even the little ones, yeah. I know, and, and, you, and then can you imagine being me, you know, 25 and looking at a five year old who's like, you know, running rings around me, playing violins and dancing at the same time? <laughs> I sing. Oh, you do 20 things, okay. <laughs> good luck, kid. Yeah, incredible. Incredible stuff. Seamus plays seven instruments, but it's just on the piano. <laughs> you'll see later. It sounds like seven instruments, but he just plays the one. Seven and one we got. We have time for two more questions. Two more. Don't be shy now. Yes, over here, you can ask me. When is your album coming out? When is my album? That's, that's a good question. If you know, do let me know. Um, <laughs> Christmas maybe. Uh, no, it'll be before Christmas. It'll be start of the fall, I'd say. Um, now, that's a bit of a scary thing to say, given we haven't really started yet. <laughs> and it not give a long time to an album. But we've a good idea what we're going to do. And I'm in the very capable hands of Mr. Brett here. In April, we're going to do some band tracks. Then we're going to do orchestra in June. And Mr. Monroe. And uh, David Monroe is going to be orchestrating, and he's going to be there for the whole process as well. So I have uh, two very capable men. Um, with me on it, and um, I would say, I would say August, or maybe late August, that in around that time. Would you? I would, yeah. <laughs> if I was a betting man, but I think I just lost all my money. So you guys, Christmas, Christmas 2019. Yeah. Loadedquestion.com. You guys in, you guys in Pittsburgh, you know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, folks down here. <coughs> Go for it. Do you have any pets? Do I have That's a great way to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's your friend. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the hunger is just starting to kick in. You know when you're, you're, you're maybe really hungry, really tired or whatever, you get to that stage where it's kind of yes. giddy. Yes. No. Oh, there it is there. Oh, great. Fantastic. The mermaid brought it. The mermaid brought it. She waddled in. I do have a pet. I have a pet called Toby. He's a dog. And he's small. And he's cute. And he probably lick your lick you to death. That's how dangerous he is. He's not a great guard dog. Although Seamus would have a different opinion. I think his name is Cujo. <laughs> Dog, but uh, he does defend once you get inside the door, it's fine. But when you're outside the door, he is our yeah. He knows he protects me, you know. <laughs> doesn't like any funny looking men coming to the gate, you know? <laughs> Not that a lot of funny looking men come to the <laughs> I really need that. <laughs> I'm really glad you qualified that. <laughs> so, Toby, yeah, there you go. 
Toby. I just arrived. We have Toby with two cats as well that kind of were strays and now they're part of the family. So the three of them sleeping together in the garage. And the cats actually, they're, they're, they're not fully tamed, so we have fresh rabbit every morning at the door. <laughs> they're amazing, actually, amazingly versatile animals. Cats, dogs just don't do a whole lot. Cats, cats got it all going on up there. They're very clever. So, and um, Toby's actually afraid of the cats around here, so. Yeah. Ryan's dog together, let them hang out. Yeah, Toby and Larry, that'll be an interesting combination. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Ryan's, Ryan's dog has a manager. <laughs> well, no, actually, Ryan's dog, we'd have to pass the image rights. Um, yes. Ryan's dog, because he's his own, uh, I think he's going to be a model at this stage. Yeah. We have a birthday here. Do you? What's your name? Amanda. Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> Jingle bells, he goes for birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to Okay, get off the phone. <laughs> I'm just having my sushi while you're Start logically with we'll, we'll over here and here. And I'll sign and stuff after the show, guys. Yeah. Actually, we so, do picks before. I'll sign after because I'll, I'll probably pop down the back to say hello to you all and uh, apologize for loosely for what's going to happen. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so, <laughs> so part of me, I, I'll keep the line running. I'll get your camera and we'll just keep moving pretty rapidly and we'll get through everybody because uh, we want to kind of have a bit of about a half an hour before and just to kind of chill. So. Um, the, the camera's going to be, I think the, the, the mirror's going to be an issue here on this side, yeah. so we'll 